What up everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Carter with AC Yard Care. Um, today, we're gonna be doing a 2024 lawn care setup. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I got the mowers and the trimmers up right in front of me. Um, we'll show you that and then I'll show you what we got right behind me and then we'll go ahead and show the truck. All right guys. Okay, so for trimmers and edgers, we got the PAS 2025 Echo. I love this machine. It starts like one pole each time. Got the Darwin's whip on there, Ballard right there. For our first mower, we've got um, one of the Hondas. I forgot which one this one is. Um, I think it's the 96. Don't quote me on that. If any of you guys know, let me know. I bought this. Actually, we got this for free off one of our clients. And he just wanted to get rid of it. So that's why we have it. But yeah, it's got controls right there. Then recently just bought is the uh, Toro Personal Pace Auto Drive. Um, this thing is a hog, guys. This thing just like goes through anything. Um, uh, 21 inch mowers on both of them. We do all, we almost bag all of our grass so we have the baggers on it. I did put the electric start on it. Um, actually, I didn't want to have the electric start in it because I didn't want to pay the extra fee. But the the with the um, 190 cc because I wanted the bigger engine, uh, it only came with the electric start, which I'm actually kind of starting to like. Um, I know you guys are probably gonna say like, "Oh, you're weak," blah blah blah, but it's super nice. Um, even if you're not interested in getting it getting the electric start i would still maybe get it just give it a try um all right we're gonna go ahead and move into here so we got so if you guys been watching our videos we just bought that mower and we've been recent we've been using my parents mower with the other honda mower that i just showed you so this year we're going full not using my parents lawn mower unless one of those break down and we need to get a fix and we just need this for like a week or and a half. Um, but other than that, we're just using those two mowers. Um, if we really need to, we'll use it, but I don't really want to. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what's in here. Okay, so what we got in here, any kind of supplies we need, it's the bagger for the other Honda lawnmower. Um, we got pruners, loppers anything really we need in there mulch shovel um we've got the blade the edger blade hedge trimmer blade um that goes on the uh pas 2025 yeah um that that's a combi system um we got our ryobi brushless um hedge trimmer I'm thinking the next piece of equipment that we're gonna be buying is a hedge trimmer. So that's gonna be coming down the pike here in a, a few months. Um, any shovels, anything we need right there. And then for blowers, this is my blower. I bought it, it's the BR200 steel. I love this thing. Um, it's powerful enough to get what we need to get done but it, um, it's a little weak. So it's spring clean, it's spring and fall cleanups. It does push leaves, but not as much as I would like it to. So I am going to upgrade to the BR600 here in the next year. Um, so then we got that blower um, for like our main, um, this, is the this is the blower we usually take out on um, when we go out and do lawns but then if we need to like go do a weeding job like a small weeding job because we do only do a few weeding jobs still so 
If we do need to do a small weeding job, we'll take out the Echo PB2520. That thing, it's like almost as powerful as the BR200, um, but it's a handheld. Like if you guys, if you guys are homeowners and you're looking on getting a some kind of blower, get the Echo PB2520. Um, this thing is a hog, um, and it it's got a pretty good fuel. Um, it holds pretty good amount so we don't have to fill this thing up that much um, uh, let's see what else wheelbarrow really any other accessories we need in here uh, we've got our Home Depot buckets we've got blades um, when we need to, ch to change out blades I just ordered 75 uh, blades of those we got our bucket um, debris bucket with all of our uh, debris in um, really any Thing else not really not anything else in here um, so I'll go ahead and show you the truck now all right here's the truck it's a 2011 Nissan Frontier it's got a, a little over a hundred one thousand miles on it we bought it last Saturday um, I'm not gonna show that much of it because I did do a whole video on the whole truck um, that was my last video so I will just show you a little bit of it, but this is it. It's white. Um, I just detailed it, cleaned it all up, washed it, everything like that. Um, it's a five foot bed. It does come with like a, the extender. I don't know if you can see that right up there. That, but yeah. It's nice I like it so far hopefully we don't have any problems I know we are because it's used but yeah just got this so far I like it that's it all right guys thank you for taking the time to watch my videos um, if you haven't already like comment subscribe uh, um, and we'll catch you guys in the next video peace out